some of my recovery bottles. Um, I've got the tear weight marked on this, 8.4 kilos. It actually weighs, um, at the moment, 9.9. Um, and you can hear the liquid in there. But uh, I can open the tap and hold my finger over it, or my thumb. And the reason that is, is I took a load of refrigerant out of something the other day and it must have took out about a litre and a half of oil with it. Um, which is something to be aware of, that that can happen uh, when you're recovering refrigerant. Um, and that is why you never fill a recovery cylinder uh, with as much um, as you would a brand new cylinder. I mean something like this, you know, we've got a chart on here. Um, I think R22, probably have maybe 12 kilos in there, some of them 13 kilos. Um, but you would never put more than probably, I don't ever put any more than 10 kilos in this. And that allows for the fact that the bottom bit could be oil. Um, that's something to be aware of. Let's see if we can drain that out. There's about one or two pounds um, pressure left in the bottle. Oh, this was caused by the um, contact just stuck in and the solenoid shut and the compressor just pumped all its oil out. And uh, seized up, and when I took all the refrigerant out to put a new unit on there, all the oil come out with it. There we go, that's uh, 8.5 kilos. Um, probably the rest of the weight is the um, weight of the hose on there. Um, Quite a bit of oil left now, oil drain pan now.